Hey guys, this is Leah with Scott Lord Marketing, and in today's tip video, I'm going to show you how to archive an opportunity and also how to archive a room in your DocuSign account. All right, so in order to archive the opportunity, that actually has to be done from KW Command directly. So if you're not already, go ahead and log in to agent.kw.com. Right, and once you're logged in to agent.kw.com, on the left-hand side, you'll want to go ahead and click on the icon that looks like a handshake, about halfway down the list, to access the Opportunities Dashboard. Alright, so from here, you can go ahead and either click All Opportunities in order to find that opportunity, or we can go ahead and locate that on the pipeline itself. So what I'm going to do, again, from the Opportunities section, just a handshake icon on the left hand side command menu. You can go ahead and click on whichever stage, I'm sorry, whichever phase your opportunity is in. So mine's in the cultivate phase. And right, whether maybe I have a duplicate opportunity or this fell through or I was just using a uh, practice, right? I have a test opportunity, whatever the case may be, if you need to archive that, we can go ahead and scroll down to find that opportunity. And all we'll do is we have to click on those three dots right here to the far right of the opportunity name, and you'll see the option to archive that opportunity right away. All right, now if you lost the opportunity, so if the transaction fell through and you need to mark that as lost, you can go ahead and click on the opportunity name to access the details of the opportunity. And then you'll see the option to select lost opportunity on the very top right. Okay, so that will take into account for your numbers and your stats that display on your reports uh, for your lost opportunities here. So if it was just a duplicate room that you're needing to archive, I would suggest using the method I just showed you to archive that instead. All right, so last but not least, you will need to um, archive the DocuSign room separately. So to do that, we'll go ahead and click on the document section of my opportunity. Okay, that is always the best way to get to your DocuSign room, especially the first time that you go to create that. So I'm in the document section of my opportunity in KW Command. And on the far right, we'll go ahead and click on Go to Transaction. And that will always take me to the DocuSign room that is linked up to this opportunity specifically. All right, so the verbiage is a little different than it was in dot loop, so there is no archive button. All right, but if you need to close out this uh, DocuSign room, if you don't want to see that, let's say, on your dashboard of your DocuSign rooms anymore, you can come up to Actions on the very top right of your DocuSign room. And of course, feel free to pause the video if you're still working on getting logged in to DocuSign. Okay, that will always prompt you to log in the first time of the day. And I'll keep you logged in for the rest of the day for security reasons. All right, so once you're logged into DocuSign, again, we'll see that actions icon on the very top right of your DocuSign room. And how DocuSign phrases that is actually close room. So if you click on the close room option from under actions, this pop-up will display and you'll want to go ahead and select a status. So you're selecting a reasoning as to why this uh, room is closing. So whether that be it's a duplicate room or any of these other reasons right here. All right, so if it's just a duplicate or you know it was a practice room that you don't want to see anymore, you can go ahead and just label that as a duplicate room. That's totally fine. And go ahead and submit that. And that will go to your office staff and they'll need to submit that in order to or approve that in order to clear that out of your DocuSign rooms. All right, guys, if you have any questions on that, please feel free to email us at support at scottlerymarketing.com.